Hello, welcome everyone to today's episode where I show you how to install mods for Farming Simulator 16. So let's get started. As you know, Farming Simulator 16 is free in the Play Store. So we will install it from the Play Store. The next step is to download our desired mod. In this case, I invite you to visit the mod website for Farming Simulator 16, the link to which can be found in the comments section and the video description. Once you're on the website, look for the category that interests you. Search structures. Click on the thumbnail of this category and search for the mod you want. Let's say it is the Ursus 11024. To download this mod, click on the blue download button. Now the website will redirect us to Mediafire, where our chosen mod is hosted. To download it, click on the blue button with the name of the mod. The download should start, and in fact, it should already be finished, since these files are very small. Now that we have downloaded the mod, Let's move on the downloading the tools needed for the installation. The first tool we need is Lucky Patcher. So let's open Google and type in Lucky Patcher. Click on the second link, which should be the official Lucky Patcher website. Now click on the blue Download Lucky Patcher button. If any ads or pop-ups appear, just go back and click the button again. Next, download the latest version of Lucky Patcher, which is always the first button. If another ad or pop-ups appear, go back and click the button again. Only when you see the correct prompt can you be assured and click Download Anyway button. The second required tool is the Zar Hyper app. Let's go to the Play Store and type in ZArchiver. Remember, all the links are provided in the comments section and the video description. After installing ZArchiver, we can proceed to configure it our tools. First, let's configure ZArchiver. So launch the app. ZArchiver will ask for access to files. Click OK and grant it access by toggling the switch. Return to the app and you can choose whether to allow notifications or not. It's up to you. Next, click OK. In the download folder, you'll find all your downloaded files, including our mod in zip format. First, let's install and configure the Lucky Patcher app. Click on the Lucky Patcher icon and select Install. Select Package Installer and choose just once. That Archiver will need permissions to install Lucky Patcher, so click Settings and grant the required permissions. The Lucky Patcher Installer will appear. Click Install. If you see a warning window, click More Details and then Install Anyway. Wait for a moment. Now click Install Anyway. Don't worry, the app is safe, but be cautious when granting it permissions. This is a serious tool, not a toy, and should be used skillfully. After installation, launch the Lucky Patcher installer. Allow it access to files. Uncheck all the preselected options and click Yes. Wait for a moment. Click Settings and grant access for app installation. When ask install this application, select install. Click more details, then install anyway. Wait for it to install and click done. Go back and Lucky Patcher will launch automatically. Click provide access. Important. Now will allow this app access to your location and phone. Only allow access to files. Here click on the switch and return to the application. Click on start uninstalling the installer and then click OK. Done. Now check the box for do not show this message again and then click no. If there's a new update everywhere, now we'll update it from within the app. Instead use Google browser to update it, so select no. Now let's launch Zarhiver and 
creates a folder named LPR Lucky Patcher. To do this, click on the blue plus sign in the bottom right corner of the screen and select the first option from the top. Enter the name for your new folder. OK. Next, let's configure it Lucky Patcher. Click the icon in the top left corner, then go to the App Settings tab. In the other section, find and click on Change Directory. Now navigate as follows. SD card and select our newly created folder. Click Select Current Directory. And the Lucky Patcher data will be moved to the new directory. Great! Lucky Patcher configuration is successfully complete. Since we have our tools configured, we can proceed with installing the mods. First, we need to extract the package installer for our farming simulator. Open Lucky Patcher and look for FS16 icon. Click on the app icon and select the tools tab. Then choose Backup and create a backup of your app. Wait for a moment. The backup has just been saved to our Lucky Patcher folder. Now let's install the mods for the game. Open that archiver and navigate to the download folder. We need to extract our mod from the zip archive. To do this, click on our file and select the Extract Here option. Now a folder named Assets has appeared containing the resources of the downloaded mod. Next, go to the Lucky Patcher folder we created. Navigate to the Backup folder. Here you'll find the original installation package of Farming Simulator 16. Now let's modify it. Long press the file and then click View. All the application resources are displayed here. We're only interested in the Split Assets app file. Long press on the file until the action menu appears, then choose copy. Now click on the blue icon on the right side. Wait a moment for the file to be extracted. Now open the view of this file. As you can see, there is also an assets folder here. Now let's add the mods to it. Click as follows. Blue plus sign and the first icon from the top. A file selection menu will appear. Navigate to the download folder and hold the assets folder until it is highlighted or just click directly on the folder icon. After selecting the folder, click add to replace the files in the application. After adding, we exit the file view and re-enter the application view. Now let's replace the split assets app file. The best way to avoid errors is to delete this file. So select the file and select delete. Now we need to add the new split assets app file. Click the blue plus sign and the first icon from the top. Navigate to the Lucky Patcher backup folder and select the split assets app file. After selecting it, click add and wait for the file to be added. And it's done, great! Now we need to rebuild the application package. And for this operation we'll use Lucky Patcher, so let's launch it. Click on Rewild and install in the bottom right corner of the screen. Navigate to Lucky Patcher backup folder. Click on the app file with the apps extension. From this menu, choose the Rebuild option and then resign with the signature. Don't select anything from this list, just proceed, click on Resign the file. Wait for a moment until the entry procedure is complete. A window will appear. Click Go to File and choose the Uninstall and Install option. If you want to create a backup of the app's data, you can check the box and click Yes. OK. Lucky Patcher needs permissions, so let's grant them by toggling the switch. Now we wait. Click Install and wait for the installation process to complete. Once the installation is complete, you can exit Lucky Patcher and launch your modded Farming Simulator 16.
As you can see with replaced sign of 40s with versus 11,024. Of course you can install other mods as well as many as you want. There are no limitations here. That's all for today, so if you found this guide helpful don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with my new guides. So until next time, goodbye.